East Timor has a new president-elect, but one familiar to the young nation. I have received uh, this mandate from our people, from the nation, in an overwhelming demonstration of our people's commitment to democracy. Jose Ramos Horta declared victory after winning 62 percent of the vote, ousting incumbent Francisco Guterres. I will do what I always have done throughout my life, as I did in 2007, 2012, when I was president. I will always pursue dialogue, patiently, relentlessly, to find common ground to find solutions to the challenges this country face. And the challenges are many. Southeast Asia's youngest nation, which gained independence from Indonesia in 2002, is also considered its poorest. And the president-elect has several problems to address. Eighty percent of East Timor's gross domestic product relies on oil reserves, leaving it at the mercy of fluctuating global oil prices. 20 percent of the population of more than one million Timorians is unemployed, and more than 50 percent live on less than a dollar and 25 cents a day. Analysts say previous governments failed to attend to urbanization, erosion, population growth, and climate crisis problems that worsen seasonal flooding. A third of the population cannot read and write. And last month, more than 3,000 Timorians were reported sick with dengue fever after a major rise in infection. Anyone who will become president has to care about the people, because the people have many complaints. The winner has to pay attention, especially to the education and health sectors, because these are the most important ones for us. The 72-year-old will be sworn in on May 20th, East Timor's Independence Day, but he'll have to get to work quickly to try to lift the country out of poverty. Sarah Balter, TRT World.